a suitable fellow. All right, so this is Wolfio's dark blue love event. What are you doing up there? Did he just fall off? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, what a great event. He's dead. <laughs> oh, slipped a little there. Whoopsie daisy. Kida. Hello. I saw you fall on your face. Oh, did you, uh... Yes, I did see you. No, no, I'm totally fine. I just stumbled a bit is all. You just like fell off a roof. You think I fell from up high? Are you sure you didn't just dream that up, Kita? No, I just saw you do it. Well, I suppose I can't expect you of all people to believe that. Jeez, you're too insightful for your own good sometimes, you know that? Oof. Fine, fine. I can't put my finger on why, but I don't want to lie to you. But first, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anybody else to overhear this. Okay. We don't think anyone will see us here. Let's sit over there. This will probably take a while to explain. Okay, are you gonna tell me why you wear a tennis ball on your head? Well, where to begin? Remember before when I told you I came here to hone my skills as an animal trainer? That was a lie. Yup, just a convenient fabrication. Okay. The truth is... I came to this village to investigate it. Or to put a finer point on it, to investigate the legend of this village's spirit. Hey, Kita. Who do I look like to you? A dog. A sad man. A sad dog man. But I look like a person wearing a goofy dog costume, right? Yep, pretty much. Figured as much. It's how I've always seen myself, too. But that's not the case. Kita, this is probably gonna sound crazy to you, but there's nobody inside this suit. The suit itself is my body. <gasps> Once, when I was really young, I met the great spirit in the forest. The Great Spirit told me that it'd be a long time since they'd met a human who could see them, so they wanted to play. I spent days playing with the Great Spirit. Thinking back on it, it was probably much longer than just a few days. I spent my time talking to the forest animals, eating snacks in a strange room. And the Great Spirit would make me laugh and even surprise me with its wondrous magical powers. But eventually I realized I had to go home, and so I left the room where I'd been staying. Great Spirit tried to get me to stop, but I ignored it and just ran out of the forest as fast as my legs could carry me. Just as I was about to reach home, I realized something wasn't right. I've been running for so long, but I wasn't out of breath. It was then that I saw my reflection in the water. I didn't realize the dog face looking back at me. It was then that I finally realized what had happened to me. In a panic, I ran back into the forest looking for the mysterious room, but... It had completely vanished. My body had been transformed into a dog costume, and I could still understand what all the animals were saying. Ever since then, I haven't been able to go back home. I've lived deep in the forest with the animals. I never get hungry either. I don't even feel pain. That's why, even though I fell from so high up, I can just walk away without so much as a scratch. kept it a secret from everyone that there's nothing inside of me. This is the first time I've ever opened up to anyone. Well, guess I'll be going. What, you're gonna just tell me that and be like, okay, bye, I'm out. See you later, Kita. Take care. No, no. 
sir. I have questions. I have a lot of questions. I get the feeling I might never see Wolfio ever again. Wow, jeez, that was... Okay. Kudo. What's wrong? You look frantic. Okay, so, if you're romancing Wolfio, you want to say, I'll always be by your side. Always by my side? Even if I can never return to normal? No. You can't be by my side. You shouldn't feel sympathy for me. You'll just end up miserable in the end. I can get by being a lone weirdo who wears an animal costume all the time. I'm used to it. But if you're with me, people will shun you as a weirdo like they do me. Price you'd pay for making me happy is sacrificing your own happiness. Couldn't handle that. It'd make me feel downright awful. No, I'm right. You're a good person. When I'm with you, I feel happier than I can put into words. That's why I felt comfortable telling you my secret, something I thought I'd never tell anybody. I'm sorry. I should never have told you. Feel sympathy for me because you're a kind person? That's just who you are. It'd hurt you to find out I'm an outcast. I'm glad you care, but you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. I guess. Look at me trying to scold someone. The more time I spend with you, the more I feel like I'm gonna lose sight of who I'm trying to be. That's no good. I, the Great Wolfio, I'm a friend to children everywhere. <laughs> My god. <laughs> You're not helping your case, Wolfio. I have to be a fun, jovial character who makes dog jokes. That's the path I've chosen to roll with the hand I've been dealt. That's who the Great Animal Trainer Wolfio is. Please don't give me that look. I won't just up and vanish without any warning. I still haven't figured out anything about Lulu Coco's spirit. I'll be here until I find out what's going on with it. Well, I'll be seeing you. You be careful on your way home now. Your suit has a zipper. What happens if I unzip it? I need these questions answered. What a shocker. To think that dog costume used to be a normal old human. I figured maybe it was some kind of homunculus created by another witch or something. It's not like I was eavesdropping or anything. You two were being so loud right in front of my house that I originally just came out to tell you to shut up. But yeah, that guy. I'm betting the spirit he was talking about is definitely a witch. Probably. Was it you? I can sense a witch's magic energy wafting off him, you know. That's why I originally thought he was some sort of magical creature. If his condition was the result of some witch's magic... There may be a way to reverse the effects. Don't rush me. I'm just a witch in training. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to dispel a hex cast by another witch. Well then what good are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Don't look at me with those big, quivering eyes. Just give me some time, okay? Genius doesn't happen all at once, except when it does. All right. So we might be able to break Wolfio's curse. Marrying Wolfio and Stephanie added, what, there's a book on that? Well, that's a thing. <laughs>